In late summer of 2017, two record-breaking hurricanes struck the U.S. Hurricane Harvey ravaged the Texas coastline in August, and less than a week later, Hurricane Irma struck Florida. Well, Hurricane Harvey started in the Atlantic, and then uh, it really generated into a Category 4 hurricane, and it hit the uh, area in Texas. After both devastating storms, the U.S. Coast Guard was on site as soon as the winds lifted, with the immediate goal of saving as many human lives as possible. After that heroic effort came the cleanup. Global has a reputation of uh, being able to uh, deal with really complex situations. Our reputation within the Coast Guard is uh, that good. When the problem becomes that complex, that they will uh, make the phone call and obviously will show up right away. The damage from the two storms required very different recovery efforts, but Global was able to bring solutions to the table in both cases. For the Harvey cleanup, many of the channels were extremely narrow and shallow, making it impossible for the local brown water tugs or barges to get in. Global's mobile dive stations were light and nimble enough to squeeze into these areas and remove wreckage with the help of cranes and pushboats. Global Diving and Salvage removed 87 boats during Hurricane Harvey. Two of the boats were quite large. They were large shrimp boats, nearly 100 feet long. There were several other large boats, but the most numerous kinds of boats were small 25-foot sailboats. A big part of managing this massive effort was good communication to get assets and crew exactly where they needed to be. By early November, Global had cleared out the targeted wreckage from Harvey. While working in Texas on the cleanup of Harvey, the Global team faced an entirely different test in Florida. The challenge of the boats in, in the Florida Keys is that they were way up in the marshes, in the grass. We wanted to remove those vessels by making a no impact to the environment. Biggest fear they have there is that you would damage the grass. And what we did is we basically made a walkway with, with plywood. Global frequently works closely with NOAA, EPA and U.S. Coast Guard. So they had the necessary experience to operate in extremely sensitive areas alongside government agencies. With the help and guidance of the U.S. Coast Guard, numerous targets were carefully removed from the mangroves by 15 dedicated global crew members. The Coast Guard put an extraordinary effort into the salvage and cleanup after both Harvey and Irma. Global's ability to think on their feet when faced with challenges made them a key player in both instances. These were the perfect projects uh, for us. We like to innovate and come up with, uh, with solutions for practical problems. At the same time, we have the uh, availability of plenty of personnel and other resources that you require for this kind of operation. Both projects were great successes due to the combined efforts of the government bodies and the global diving and salvage team.